Hello, get back to the beginning here. So welcome and welcome back. I just wanted to put together this presentation, just to introduce you to some of the people that you'll be working with, some of the faces you'll be seeing, and some of the little things that are happening here at Hawking College if you're interested in participating. So this is for the students that are either coming back or are coming for the first time here um, for our autumn 2019. So I wanna introduce our Dean. Our Dean is Ryan Reader. Um, he is the Dean currently, um, and he was a former department chair and instructor. We are very fortunate to have him as our Dean. Um, someone, he is someone that we can work with as program managers and instructors that we can go to whenever, you know, we have questions or unsure how to do something because hiccups do happen. Um, we're very fortunate to have him in our corner, which means you are very fortunate <laughs> to have him <laughs> in our corner. Um, he's a great guy. Our faculty, um, we have myself, I am the program manager for the computer science department and I teach the web development courses that include HTML, CSS, JavaScript, the incubator classes, and actually this fall I'll also be teaching a security awareness class, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, it's for the cybersecurity program, but I'll be teaching that um, for the second half of the fall semester. We have Mark Riley. He is the program manager for the cybersecurity program. And um, he was a former adjunct with us. He came from Ohio University. He's been an adjunct with us for, I want to think, a couple of years now. And um, he just recently came aboard. He left Ohio University and came aboard to Hawking College as the program manager for cybersecurity. I've actually known Mark um, for a few years. I used to work at Ohio University before coming to Hawking last year. Um, he's a great guy. He's a great guy, easy to work with. He cares about what the students, you know, want the students to succeed. And I'm really happy to have him on our team in a full time capacity here at Hawking College. We have Jacob Bookman. Um, he's actually our former full time faculty here at Hawking College. He just recently had another opportunity and um, he took it, you know, which we, you know, we're glad um, for, you know, for whatever it is that he's doing. Um, I know, well, I know what he's doing. He's working at a high school. I don't remember the name of the high school, but we wish him luck on his, you know, future, his next step. Um, but he's gonna still stay with us as an instructor, as an adjunct faculty teaching cybersecurity courses, which is what he taught whenever he was full-time. We have Muhammad Smahi. He is also an instructor. Um, uh, he's an adjunct faculty. Um, he teaches web development courses, um, including Java and some business classes when it comes to web development. And you know, he's been with doing this. He's been doing this with us for the past couple of years. He's very he's very open to helping students whenever they need help on anything. He's very kind. He's very considerate. Um, he's willing to help do whatever he needs to do to help you guys succeed. So we're very fortunate to have him on our staff here as well. Um, we have Alan Bates. He is on one of our new adjuncts. He's gonna be teaching the database courses and he is actually a data scientist in his full-time job. So I'm really excited to have him because he's, we're going, he's gonna bring with him his experience working in the field. And um, it's just gonna be, we're very fortunate to have him. It's gonna be a great experience to for not only for me to have him as that kind of resource but also for our students who are learning from him and you know on because he has the experience that he has we have rex van horn um he is also one of our new adjunct instructors and his day job he's a season he's a senior software engineer and he's also teaching our web development courses and um when i was speaking with him the other day you know, you know, getting ready for our classes and going over the things that we need to go over. Um, he was, you know, I'm just, I'm so excited for my students, you know, because he's going to be teaching the second year students, you know, when they're getting ready to graduate. And I'm so excited for the students because they're going to be learning so many great things from him um, that you just don't get in the classroom. You know, there's classroom setting and then there's like, this is a real world. And he's going to bring that real world experience with him. So I'm super excited to have him on board. And we have Shauna Gordon. She is one of our new adjuncts as well. She is teaching our Python courses in our cybersecurity program. 
Um, she's also a senior back in engineer and she's entre- and she's an entrepreneur. So we ha- she's bringing all kinds of um, experience and knowledge and insight, again, real world applications to the thing, to the classroom. So it, we have all of our adjuncts are gonna be bringing great things, um, real world experiences to our classroom. And I am so excited, especially for our second years as they you know, finish up and get ready to go to their next step, whether it be workforce or you know, pursuing a higher degree, they're going to have um, a great insight and um, connections. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is that what we'll be doing in my particular classes um, are lightning talks. I need this. Get back a little bit. So lightning talks. Um, we're given a lightning. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, you're given a lightning talk. You must be so eloquent. No, you're not eloquent the first time you do the lightning talk. Um, a lightning talk is basically a short presentation that only lasts a few minutes. It's great practice. One of the reasons that we're doing it in the classes that I'm teaching is because it's great practice. Um, Whenever you get more out into the field and start doing the networking and attending conferences and doing meetups and such, you're going to have the opportunity to do these kind of lightning talks, which is going to only help and boost your profile for you know your future jobs and your skill set. So uh, we're going to be doing you know some lightning talks. Um, like I said, it's great practice for whenever you're in a setting where you're going to be around peers and people that and mentors and the people you want to impress for you know that next job. Um, the one I think, in my personal opinion, because I tend to do this in about everything, is I overthink stuff. <laughs> um, so I guess one of the hardest things is to do is not overthink it. And sometimes that comes with just practice. You get more comfortable in what you're doing and you don't have to overthink it. So whenever there's a topic um, or anything that I want to do or talk about is, and it's too broad and I need to kind of condense it, especially, you know, for a time frame, and just, you know, hitting on certain points, I try to break it down um, in asking these six questions. And this is what we're going to be doing actually the first day of class um, for my students. Um, If not the first day, first week, depends on how the day goes. Um, Break down the topic of, and I want them to talk about themselves. Um, You know, remember you always have that first, I mean, the first day of school is like, you know, everybody introduces themselves and, you know, what's your favorite thing? What's your favorite animal? Icebreakers, whatever you want to call it. So I guess it's a similar way of doing it, but I want them to introduce them to um, the concept of lightning talks and how they're done um, with something, a subject matter that they're familiar with. So when they're you know talking about something that's more techy, they'll they'll have the the flow, they'll have a better idea of the flow, they'll be more comfortable with the flow and be able to concentrate on the content as opposed to the mannerisms and actually how to do it. So the first day, first week, however, we're going to do it. The breakdown of the topic is who. So I have some um, suggestions on what you can ask or what you can talk about when you're doing the lightning talks. You can break down the topic by who, like, you know, tell them who you are, your name, and so on and so forth. Um, On this breakdown, try to limit to one or two sentences max. That's the point is just to kind of dumb it down, not to get, you know, carried away, um, get too obtuse in what you're describing, um, but just like one to two sentences, keep it simple. So you talk about who, who you are, your name and whatnot, you know, you can, those are some sample questions on the what, and you know, what brings you to hockey? What are your plans after graduation? You don't have to answer them all. You can just kind of pick one that what you want. Uh, when, when did you decide to become to hockey? Come to, when did you decide to come to hockey? Um, where, where are you from? Where is your ideal job? Um, why, why are you interested in this field? Why did you decide hockey? Um, how, how do you plan to succeed? Um, do you plan your, do you think your degree and, and certification certs will impact your life? So sometimes just asking these questions and having the students answer them themselves, it just, just uh, um, solidifies what you're trying to do. It makes you think and actually have a plan. I'm big on planning. Like, what's your plan? I do this to my son. What's your plan? And sometimes I think he gets frustrated, but it's important sometimes to have a plan. 
the plan may need to change, but at least you have a foundation and something to work with and then make edits as needed. So what I'm going to do is pretend it's going to go back in time. And I want to do a lightning talk about how I would have done it my first day going back to um, college. Um, so I was, to give you a background, I went to college you know, straight after high school the first time, 18, 19, whatever. Um, I dropped out when I had my son at 19. And I think, and it was, I was 26 when I decided to go back to college to earn my associates. So that's the background of it. Um, so envision me 13 years younger <laughs> and skinnier um, as I pretend I want to do a lightning talk as I would have if, if my instructor had asked me to do so. So, okay, scene. So I'm going, scene, <laughs> I overthink things. Um, so lightning talk starting here. Hi. So uh, my name is Tasha Sloan back then. Uh, my name is Tasha Sloan and, um, I am a 26 year old, um, single mom, uh, for my, what, what brings me to Rio Grande community college, which is where I went. Um, what brings me to Rio Grande community college is that I realized that I need a degree before for me to be able to you know support my son well so that's my plan is what brings me here is to you know get a good enough job to you know support myself and my son when did i decide to be to um go to the Rock grand community college it well i decided whenever um i saw that i needed at least an associate's degree if not more to you know get a good enough job and my boss you know is willing to let me work around my schedule so that i can you know come back to school so whenever all those things lined up and i got the financial way that i needed that's when i decided to come where where okay where are you from from i'm from originally from patriot ohio which is like out the sticks what it's um and where, where I live now is in Gallup Plus, Ohio. Um, why are you interested in this field? I'm interested in this field and in this field of business management, which is what my major was. Um, I'm interested in this field because it just seems like something that they would be able to, you know, get a good enough job with and to help support my son. How do I plan on succeeding? Um, well, one day at a time, um, I still work a full-time job and I have my son and, um, you know, just balance it all out one day at a time, make a plan. And, um, do you think your degree inserts? Well, I think my degree is going to definitely impact my life, you know, for the better and make it better. So seeing Okay. So um, that's kind of how what I envision a lightning talk to be. It can be, like I said, just like an introductory um, about a particular subject. Right now, the subject is you for the, what we're doing. Um, it takes time. It takes practice. It takes familiarity. It takes, you know, repetition um, on doing it and getting with the flow. Um, and yeah, go back. That's it, you know. And so that's one of the things that we're going to be doing. So bites and bits. Um, and yes, bite is spelled correctly for what I'm doing. Um, bites and bits is what I do here in my office. And you can see I went to Sam's Club last night. And I have some soup and other snacks, Pop-Tarts and peanut butter cups and whatnot. And the reason I do that is um, it's grabbing a bite to eat. You know, you see the plan words, computer science. And well, the reason I do that is because I know how hard sometimes it is. I remember whenever, you know, I was in between classes, I always have time to get something to eat. There's just a vending machine. 
and you didn't have the right, you didn't have any cash on you. Just all those things that never lined up right. And you're like in class starving. <laughs> Can't concentrate because you're hungry. So the idea is just for students to come and grab a bite, you know, whether it's a granola bar or cookies or um, whatever. Um, if you need something like a meal meal, I got soup. I try to get I try to get something that was, you know, pantry items that was non-perishables. Sometimes I do fruit, but you know, fruit spoils and whatnot. So um these are peanut butter cups. The so that's a grabbing a bite. And I'm also big on professional development. And so you can see some books here, and I have those for students. I'm a big Gary V fan. And I have some students who, you know, are interested in reading a bit. So you grab a bite to eat and you can read a bit. And you know, if you're interested in any of those professional development books, you're more than welcome to come in. If you like the book, keep it. If you don't like it, just bring it back, not a big deal. Um, and I have some rubber ducks here. I give those out when I'm with my students, um, talking about rubber duck debugging, and that's something that we'll go over in class as well. And if I don't have any in my classes, just stop on by. Yeah, doesn't matter. I'll talk your ear off. Okay. Other cool stuff that we do. I just want to get rid of that. Okay. Other cool stuff. We are, we have a girls who code chapter, um, which is aimed at girls third through fifth grade and sixth through 12th grade. And what we do is a community outreach. We work with um, girls in those age ranges and just teach them some of the basics of coding and, you know, get them interested in it. Um, I have girls in my web development program who are interested in participating and volunteering. Um, and that just only aids to, you know, their understanding of some of, the, some of these topics and then also looks great on their resume. Um, and she's actually also one, one student, Andrea, she is the president. There's also a college hoops, I think it's called, for girls who could. It's just for college students. So that's something that's available to you know, to the girls here um, when they get started. We are a Grow with Google partner, and that Grow with Google is Google, you know, outreach and teaching um, some some basic IT skills using Google um, platform, obviously. And it's something that we do. We've just started doing with the community, um, doing an outreach, and if we're, we're looking for volunteers who are wanting to help. Um, coordinate and plan and assist with the instruction. We don't have anything on schedule just yet. Um, our focus has been obviously getting them ready for the next semester. We are, these three things right here, AWS, okay? Um, AWS, we started with AWS Educate, which is a platform to help teach um, students the AWS technology. AWS, if you're not familiar with it, is Amazon Web Services. And it's a technology, it has certifications that are built with it. And they can really, it can have a huge, huge financial impact, positive impact on your career. Um, we are an AWS, after we got AWS Educate, we became an AWS um, Educate Cloud Ambassador. And what that means, well, the Cloud Ambassador it's just, it's just kind of a one-upping on the educate. But uh, what's so special about it is um, we have some, we have connections with AWS to, you know, utilize their resources a little bit more, have more access, have better access. And um, there were only 200 that were selected around the world. Less than half of them were in the United States and Hawking College was one of them. So I'm proud of that. And we just a couple weeks ago became approved to be an AWS Academy. Um, details are still being finalized on how we're going to incorporate that into our program. That at this time we are we're going to be using some of the AWS technology in with our classes for the web development classes. Um, but we're going to be doing something as an aside with an actual AWS Academy for that you know 100% curriculum because we don't have a cloud computing degree just yet. Um, we're just kind of offering as a a la carte kind of thing. 
So some examples of what we can do with AWS um, is machine learning and Alexa. Those seem to be the most popular things right now. Um, one of the perks of being a cloud ambassador was, um, I believe I'm getting some equipment in. They had me complete the survey yesterday and I'm getting some equipment in that we can utilize a little bit more of the ML stuff. And Alexa, um, one of the things that I've gotten whenever the conferences was an Echo, and you can actually use Alexa as an app on your phone. Um, and so one of the things that we do is just, you know, play with it. So this is kind of like playtime if you're having interest in it. And, you know, if you're in the web development program, we'll also be, you know, going over some of the AWS platform on its own. But if you really want to take a deeper dive into it, um, we can have the we have the play time, um, so to speak. Um, I'm wanting to think it's going to be Fridays. I haven't, you know, really set the schedule yet. But I, at this time, Fridays seem to be the days that it's going to be offered. Okay. So I think that was it. Um, if you have any questions at all, I believe you all should have my um, contact information. And again, I just want to say welcome and welcome back to everybody. And I'm looking forward to working with you this fall. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.